the last and final chapter of Who is Michael Jordan? Chapter 10, and yes, I'm here with Dottie, and we're gonna read the last chapter, the greatest. In 2006, Michael officially joined the Charlotte Bobcats. Team owner Robert L. Johnson offered Michael part ownership and put him in charge of basketball operations. The Bobcats were a new team in Charlotte, North Carolina. He repl they replaced the Hornets who had moved to New Orleans in 2002. Michael's personal life also changed in 2006. He and Juanita divorced. They had separated once before in 2002, but had gotten back together. This time, it was final. It was tough to make the Bobcats into a winning team. Fans didn't always agree with Michael's draft choices and trades. The team lost a lot of games. It was hard being in charge of a team, but everyone still remembered Michael's playing career. He was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 2009. At the Hall of Fame ceremony, he was expected to make a speech. He was nervous about the event. The audience was filled with people who had been helpful and important to his career. When others spoke about him, he became emotional and cried several times. Then it was time for Michael to give his own speech. It was a disaster. Michael wanted to explain why he was so competitive. And so he began by talking about the times people had doubted him or slighted him. He told the story of when Leroy Smith made the varsity basketball team and he didn't. He spoke about the time Dean Smith wouldn't let him, let him be on the Sports Illustrated cover. People were horrified. Hall of Fame speeches were usually warm and filled with gratitude. Michaels just seemed bitter and angry but he wanted to let people know that those slights and doubts were the things that pushed him to be greater in the sport. He did thank many people in the speech, but most of all, he thanked the game itself. He said, the game of basketball has been everything to me, my refuge, my place. I've always gone when I needed to find comfort and peace. Did you like my Michael Jordan voice? In 2010, Michael bought Robert Johnson's share of the Bobcats. He became the first former player to solely own an NBA team. The team's finances improved. He donated money to keep sports programming, programs going for local middle schools and helped get the team's players involved in the community. But the Bobcats seemed to get even worse on the court. Michael hired another executive to take over basketball operations, but they kept losing. Coaches came and went, fans and sports writers criticized his decisions. Some called him the worst owner in the league. Others said he should sell the team. Then in 2013, he made one move that everyone did like. The New Orleans Hornets changed their name to the Pelicans. Jordan asked that the NBA, he asked the NBA if Charlotte could have the Hornets name back. The league granted his request and they became the Charlotte Hornets again. Michael's personal life was also changing. After dating for a few years, he married Yvette in 2013. The next year, Michael and Yvette had twin daughters, Victoria and Isabel. 
from 2015 to 2016, more than 50% of all basketball sneakers sold in the United States were from the Jordan brand of Nikes. Michael earned $100 million a year from his Nike deal alone. In 2015, he was named Forbes Magazine's list of billionaires. Billionaires. He's making 100 million a year just on shoes. That's not counting all the other things. He is the highest paid athlete of all time with 1.885 billion dollars in total earnings. $93 million of it from playing career, from his playing career. He is still one of the most popular athletes in the world. In 2016, he received the medal, the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Barack Obama. There's a picture. When an ESPN magazine reporter did a long interview with Michael before his 50th birthday, Michael spoke about his whole life had been about competition and how hard it was not to play anymore. He asked, how can I find peace away from the game of basketball? He hadn't found an answer yet. Michael Jordan has been called the greatest basketball player of all time and one of history's greatest athletes. He always worked hard to make the most of his natural talent. He always demanded the best of himself and the best of those around him. Michael Jordan changed the NBA with his high-flying airborne style and speed. He changed the world of advertising too. Before Michael, few basketball players were ever seen in advertisements. Now they were everywhere. There's a picture of LeBron James. Want a Sprite? Here's the picture of Michael Jordan that we all know. Michael's career is fulfilled with highlights that astonished fans at the time and still continue to do so. Sometimes Michael startled himself by what he could do. Once he told a reporter how watching one of his dunks on video in slow motion made him feel. He wondered aloud, when does jumping become flying? When it's Michael Jordan. Here is a list of his accomplishments. You probably, have, I think my finger blocked it, but here are some timelines. What a great story.